Hello everyone, hope you had a good weekend. The weather was absolutely beautiful on Saturday, wasn't it? I was very enviously uh, smelling lots of barbecues around, but um, unfortunately uh, we didn't have any food in to cook any, so I had to do about, but there you go. Um, anyway, we're gonna do some work on angles today. So we're gonna start with a bit of a um, guess the angle game. Now, estimated angle is a really, really important skill because um, when you're doing a question, if you know that your answer is way, way off um, your estimate, you've probably gone wrong somewhere. So it's good to have another go and calculate it again. So uh, your job to see is if you can estimate the angle better than me, if you can get closer to it than me. So here we go. I'm going to create an angle um, and you're going to do a bit of an estimate and I'm going to do a bit of an estimate and whoever's closest wins. OK, so. Um, I'll give you some top tips. When you're when you're estimating angles, you know what a right angle looks like, and use that as a measure, um, whether it's a bit more or a bit less, or much less or much more. And we know if a full straight line is 180 degrees. So these are all gonna be angles between zero and 180 degrees. It's my first angle. Right, my estimate is 30 degrees. What's yours? Make your estimate. Let's see who wins. 21 degrees, always a bit off. Uh, next one. What do you reckon? Hmm, well, I know that that's 90 degrees. I'm going to go with 80 degrees. What's your estimate? Oh, 70 degrees. I'm a bit off today. Let's have a go, another one. Okay. Really big one. What's your estimate now? I'm going to go for 165 degrees. 162. Oh, I'm getting closer. My estimate is going to be 100 and. 30. Ooh, 132. Yeah, I'm definitely getting better. Practice makes perfect. I'm going to go for 140. No, I'm going to go for 152. Oh, 150. Okay, your estimate. I'm going to go for 18. Uh, 10, I was a bit off that one. Let's have another go. I'm going for 71. 47. Deary me. Need to concentrate more. I'm going for 173. 174. Okay, so your learning intentions for today is, can I describe and estimate different angles? We've already done some estimating, and can I calculate missing angles? And there is some best in the business bonus questions to finish. Okay, so your first job is to name the, the different angles that you can see there. So press pause to name them. If not, I'm going to go through them. So in the top right hand corner, we have a right angle, which is 90 degrees, which you'll see on the corner of a square or rectangle. You have um, next to it, this is an obtuse angle, which means it's between 90 and 180 degrees. And this is an acute angle, which is less than 90 degrees. And over here, we have a reflex angle, which is more than 180 degrees. OK, so we've got some more angles here. The top one is angles on a straight line. Do you know what the angles on a straight line um, add up to? Well, you, hopefully you know they add up to 180 degrees. 
we've got a full turn here, which is 360 degrees, and a right angle, we've already gone through this, is 90 degrees. So this is your little uh, degree sign here, so make sure when you're writing angles, you always put that little degree sign in next to your number. Okay, so the first question I'm gonna ask you is, how many degrees is angle X? So press pause to crack it on your own. If not, I'm gonna go through it. So we know that this whole big angle here is an angle on a straight line, which adds up to 180. So what we wanna do is add these two together and then subtract your answer from 180. So I'm gonna use a little bit of a column addition. So nine add four makes 13. Uh, 9 add 6 is 15, add the 1 is 16, so that makes 163. Crossed it out, so now that it. Okay, 0 subtract 3, you can't do. So I'm going to take 1 from my 10s column. I'm going to turn that into 7 and that into 10. 10 subtract 3 is 7, 7 subtract 6 is 1. And of course, 1 take 1 and 1, 1 is 0. So your answer is 17 degrees. Okay, so how many degrees is angle P? Well, hopefully you know the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So just the same as angles on a straight line. Um, obviously press pause to crack this on your own. Uh, you're going to add these two together and then subtract it from 180. So 31 uh, add 42. So 1 add 2 makes 3. 4 add 3 makes 7, 180 subtract 73, again I'm going to turn that into a 7 and a 10, 10 subtract 3 is 7, 7 subtract 7 is 0, and 1 subtract 0 is 1, so it will be 107 degrees. Okay, how many degrees are angle P and X. Now I'm not going to go through and do all the column subtractions all the time, I'm just going to talk you through the methods. So um, P you can see there is an angle inside a triangle, we know the angles in a triangle are up to 180 degrees. So 66 add 17, I'll make that to be 83. Um, 180 subtract 83, so P is going to be 97. And then we've got, look, we've got angles on a straight line here. So if P is 97, these angles are up to 180. So 180 subtract 97 is 83 degrees. Okay, next question is how many degrees is angle X? Well, let's have a look at this triangle. This is an isosceles triangle. I know that because these two lines here that show that these, um, these two lines are the same length. So we know the angles add up to 180 degrees. In an isosceles triangle, these two angles are the same. So these two angles add up to 140. <clears throat> so one angle, therefore, if you divide 140 by two, one angle would be 70 degrees. Okay, so we're now gonna find angles in a quadrilateral. So uh, if you don't know, angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. So uh, have a go at finding out angle X uh, on your own now. Okay, so I'm going to go through this. So uh, we're going to do it the same way as we found the missing angle in the triangle. We're going to add these three together and then we're going to subtract it from 360 this time because there's 360 degrees in the quadrilateral, as I said. So uh, I'm going to use a bit of column addition. I'm going to put my little plus sign there. Uh, four add four add seven makes uh, 15. Carry the one. Uh, 2 at 8, well, and then nice little number, 1 to 10, 17, 18. Cross that one out. Put my 1 there. And 1 at 1 makes 2, so I now need to do 360, subtract 285. 0, take away 5, you can't do. So I'm going to turn that into a 5. Goes to a 10. 10 take away 5 is... Five. Five take away eight, can't do. It's gonna go down to a two. I'll go to a fifteen. Fifteen subtract eight equals seven. Two subtract two. Well we know it's a zero, I don't really need to put that zero in there. So it'll be seventy-five degrees. 
Now I know this is not drawn to scale, um, but I can just have a look at the angle and work out, yep, it's less than 90 degrees, so I know my estimate is about right. <clears throat> okay, so here's some uh, missing angles and quadrilaterals. So can you find the angle X? Press pause to do it on your own. And here's the answers. So some uh, more missing angles in quadrilaterals. Getting slightly trickier now. And there's the answers. So getting slightly trickier again, you need to find angle X and find angle Y. So press pause, do it on your own. If not, I'm gonna go for it now. So this angle here is, is, sorry, is 45 degrees and we've got angles on a straight line. If you look there, that's a straight line. So 180 subtract. makes this one, sorry, makes this one 135, which is exactly the same. These lines here sh show that these uh, length sides and these length sides are the same. So we know that this angle must be the same. So this uh, angle X will be 135. Uh, so if you've got 135, 135, and add 22 to that, and then subtract it from 360, angle Y should be 68 degrees, I make it. And over here, we've got uh, this angle, which is 13. This angle is the same, it's 13. Then we've got a full turn there of 360 degrees. If this one is 81, uh, this one, the other side of it, must be 279. So 13, add 13, add 279, and subtract it from 360, because this, of course, is a quadrilateral. You should have worked out why to be 55 degrees. Okay, so we've got some external angles now to calculate. So as you can see, this is a parallelogram, um, and then there's some extra uh, angles which have been created on the outside, some external ones. So let's have a look at this one. Uh, this is 65 degrees, so we know, because it's a parallelogram, the opposite angle is also going to be 65. Um, so if you added 65 and 65 together, it makes 130. And if you subtracted that from 360, it makes... 230 so these two between them are 230 so therefore if you half that angle P will be 115 we know this is 65 we've got angles on a straight line which are 180 uh, 180 subtract 65 would also be 115 if you notice they're the same um, angle N so we've got uh, an angle of 115 we've got an angle of 90 degrees we can see this is a right angle 115 add 90 and then if you subtract that from 360 you'll create angle n which is 205 degrees okay so we've got two bisecting lines here so um when you get a question like this we know that because these two are bisecting each other the opposite one is the same so if that's 154 that is 154 and then we've just got a nice angle and a straight line there if you look, so 180 subtract 154 makes this one 26, and this one is opposite, so it'll also be 26. Okay, so we've got uh, a pair of parallel, line, parallel lines by uh, being bisected by a straight line here. So um, again, for this one, 134, the opposite one is going to be 134, and again, we've got angles on a straight line. That makes 46, and that is 46 as well. And these ones, because these are parallel and this line is straight, are going to be exactly the same. So this one will be the same as this angle, and so on and so forth. Okay, so can you find the missing angle on this one? Right, so um, again, uh, we know these opposite angles here are going to be the same. So this one's got to be 57. We know this one is 90 degrees, so the opposite one has got to be 90. And again, we've just got angles on a straight line. 57 and 90 is 137, which makes this one uh, 43 and the opposite one will obviously be 43 as well. So for your best in the business bonus questions we're going to bring in a little bit of algebra. So press pause if you want to do this on your own, if not I'm going to go through it. So up here it says uh, 80 degrees and if we do angles on a straight line we should work out this one underneath is 100 degrees. Now we have to work out what x is. So we know this angle here is the same as this angle. This angle's got to be 100 degrees as well. So x plus 25 equals 100 degrees. Because you know this one's 100 degrees. So we need to work out 
what x equals. So if x plus 25 equals 100, well 100 subtract 25 equals 75. I'm just going to rub this one out to make a bit more space. So over here it's a bit more tricky. So let's have a look. Uh, this one's 76. So as you probably know, this one's 76, which means this one's 76 degrees. But it's not, now we've got to find the value of x, but we know what 6x is. We know 6x plus 10 equals 76 degrees. So we need to find out what x equals. Now, the key rule for when you're finding the value of x on algebra is whatever you do to one side, you've got to do to the other. So if we know 6x plus 10 is 76, well if I take away 10 from this side, I've got to take away 10 from this side. So that means that 6x, I'm going to take away that 10, remember, is equal to 66. Therefore, 66 divided by 6, x has got to equal 11. And here are the answers. I'm not going to go for every single one. Um, and here are the answers. So we've got one more lot of questions. Again, we need to find out what x is. So off you go if you want to crack it on your own. Okay, so hopefully you've worked out that this angle here is 80 degrees. So we know 12x plus 8 equals 80, because we know this. Uh, that's what it says here. So I'm going to do my same rule. Whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. So I'm going to subtract 8 from this side. So I've got to subtract 8 from this side. So 12x equals 72. Uh, 72 divided by 12, x would equal 6. Let's have a look at this one over here. Uh, so we've got a minus 5 here, so I'm going to go through how, how you work out when it's a, a minus. Because this is uh, minus 5, I need to add 5 to get back to 0. So I'm going to add 5 to this side, therefore I've got to add 5 to this side. So 7x equals 63. And 63 divided by 7 equals 9. So x must equal 9. And there's the answers there in case you missed them. Okay, so I hope you found the work all right today. I'll post my next video on Tuesday night, really, for Wednesday's lesson. Um, apart from that, as always, stay safe, be good for your parents, and I'll catch you then.